In this video I'm going to show you 5 of my favorite color grading tricks in DaVinci Resolve that everybody should know. So let's waste no time and start with the first trick. So for the first trick we go into the first clip and I made a note between the color space transform and my contrast node. Now we go to the effects tab and type in glow and add it to this node here. And then we switch the composite type to soft light. And then we can put on the shine threshold and pull up the spread. And now when we turn off this node and turn it on, we can see that we have a gentle black promise filter effect. So it's a slight glow and we can pull it even further. So I'm going to copy this node and make a new node here and paste it. And now we need to adjust it. Pull back the shine threshold. And when we turn it off and turn it on, we can see the effect and it's pretty strong in my opinion. But it has this glow effect that you get from a black promise filter, so that's a pretty good effect in my opinion. But in some cases you want to turn down the saturation because sometimes it looks pretty bad, but in this case it looks pretty good in my opinion. For the next trick we go to the hue versus luminance curse and I make a point here. And now we can pull this down. And when we pull this down, we change the luminance or the brightness of the color that we chose. When you pull down the green, for example, it gives the green a more film-like color because the green on digital cameras is pretty bright compared to film cameras. So when you pull the luminance of the green down, it gives it a more film-like look. And when we go to this clip and to the U versus luminance, of course, again, and we make a point at the blue and we pull it down, you can see how strong the blue gets. So that looks pretty good. But you have to be pretty careful with you versus luminance because when you push it around too far it's gonna fall apart. Especially with 8-bit but even with 10 or 12-bit it's gonna fall apart if you do it too strong. And make sure to spread out the outer points because then you make a more gentle adjustment and it's not gonna fall apart as quickly as when you don't do it. For the next trick we go to the balance node in this clip here. And the next trick is to play around with the white balance by using the offset wheel. So now I'm in the balance node and I'm pushing the offset wheel to the warm direction. So it's getting orange. And now we can even pull the gain into the warm direction. A little bit of gamma, maybe gamma in the other direction, in the blue direction. And then we pull down the lift a little bit. Gamma back into the warm direction a little bit. And now when I turn off this node, turn it on again it looks pretty cinematic in my opinion it has a cinematic sunset look so that looks pretty good in my opinion so the next trick is to use one of davinci resolve's film print emulation LUTs for that i go to my color space transform where i converted my edge lg footage to rec 709 there we go to the output gamma even when you shot in rec 709 you choose rec 709 for input gamma and for output gamma you choose sin and film lock it's a pretty important step so you don't want to miss that step making you note Go to the LUT folder and then under film looks you can choose one of DaVinci Resolve's film print emulation LUTs like this Rec. 709 Codec 2383 D5, D55. I apply this and it looks pretty good but it's a little bit too much contrast in my opinion. So I go to the exposure node and pull down the contrast a little bit. Maybe even with lift gamma and gain. And that looks pretty good in my opinion. And if you want to customize this film print emulation LUT, you can make a new node after the LUT and make your adjustments like Hue versus U. So for example, you can pull down the yellows so that the yellows are green again, like they were in the original one. So if I turn everything off, that's what it looked like. We can even go to the Hue versus Luminance again and pull down our greens more yellow and make it even more film like and we pull up our reds because of the skin tones so they pop out a little bit so the last trick is a pretty easy one for that we go to our custom curves and activate edible spines then I make a point here and push it up make a point here and pull it down so we create an S curve and now we can pull this even more up and that's before and that's after 
and when you use edible spine to make an S-curve like that, you have a commercial style look, which looks pretty good when you want to have a high key look. We can even go back to our other clip and make a point here again. Pull it up and pull this down just a little bit because it's already pretty contrasty. So that's before, that's after. And we can even do this on this clip here. I pull this up and that's a very big difference in my opinion. Pull the shadows down a little bit and when I turn it off and turn it on, it's a pretty huge difference in my opinion. And as you can see when you combine all those techniques, it's a pretty huge difference. So when you combine so many techniques and now how to use them properly, you can make it extremely good color grading. So if you like this video, you can give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn how to color grade iPhone footage, you can click on this video right now. And we're gonna see us in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.